I thank you. And I give the floor to 28th June. So, it is an honor to be with you in my home country as a representative of 28th June to provide you with our expert analysis on minority issues in the Western Balkans, as experienced by an international humanitarian organization. The region has endured multiple conflicts in recent memory, which have resulted in forced population movements and left minorities helpless. Our task was to tackle the antecedent stigmatization of local population by correcting common prejudices. A multi-stakeholder initiative is difficult to pilot if the population in, this, in, in distress has been widely protected as antagonistic antagonistic like the Serbs have been for the past quarter century. Today, ethnic Serbs are by far the most discriminated minority in the Western Balkans and face sustained and medical campaigns which aim to eradicate their culture and creation in the unrecognized state of Kosovo. Serbian minority population face such extreme discrimination that even humanitarian aid, a universal human right, has been blocked at the border at the border if the recipients were Serbian. However, we remain confident and optimistic as our lobbying of international bodies like this one has in some cases forced domestic actors to allow us to do our work free of ethnic basis and religious discrimination. We would now like to submit a petition to the chair signed by 150,000 people from around the world which cautioned against the legitimation and passive approval of culture genocide in the Western Balkans as witnessed in Kosovo where 156 Serbian Orthodox churches were completely destroyed. We implore bodies of the United Nations like UNESCO and the HRC to protect the cultural identity of minorities because it's the anchor of their security. 28 June will continue to fight for minority rights in the Western Balkans because in order for us to do our humanitarian work, people of all ethnicity need to be able to live freely and with dignity in a shared homeland. Thank you. Thank you.